Good morning, YouTube. KC Jilly here. I figured I'd show you around the secret garden. The The cold's coming. Uh, about three, four days ago, it got down to 39. And we're kind of back and forth between the low to mid 40s every morning when I get up. And sometimes 95 in the day. But that's a game we play around here. We're used to it. What I will say is... Uh, because of this weather, I've went ahead and, and uh, done some work at the house on my peppers, the ones I want to save anyway, and also all the suckers. I cut a bunch of those guys off uh, because there's not enough time left. Uh, we're almost for sure uh, got le a month or less before our first freeze, so I, I just know from experience. So let me show you around the secret garden, and I'll show you what's going on right now. All right, so have a big empty plot except for, do you see it? This that gum grass, and I can't seem to beat it. I even got some of this old black stuff down underneath, but everywhere where it overlaps because of uh, financial reasons, I only have it overlapping about a half inch, and this stuff really lines out through that. Okay, that's all coming out of a half inch. It's just growing through the black and up and spreading out on top. So, in this little area, I do have some tomato plants left this time. This was a volunteer yellow pear tomato. You can see their shape. I'm waiting on, uh, hopefully I can get a couple of ye yellow ones. They turn yellow. Hopefully I can get a couple and I'm gonna save the seeds in those guys i may have to eat just one but you know i have a few of them down here for me and if i can get a couple of those for seed that's all i want off of them and then i also this is another one here over here i've got sun gold and they've been kicking out pretty hot and heavy they've been running along the fence line but you see all this weeds and stuff growing up on the corners and the edges so what I've made up my mind to do is, and I know a lot of you are not gonna like this, I don't really like it, but this is how it's gonna go down. I've got this dadgum Bermuda grass stuff over here too, just spreads like crazy. I'm gonna come over here with a little bit of Roundup in a, in a pump up sprayer, just doing it by hand and lightly hit what is here after these, the first freeze, when these tomatoes freeze the grass may still try to make it so i'm going to come hit all this grass and all these weeds around the edge after the tomatoes are done and once that's dead in the shop i have some some good black stuff not this stuff is pretty dadgum thin i'll show you over here this is the kind of stuff you get around here at my local place it's so thin i, I bet it's not even a sixteenth of an inch thick and so it's it's a joke Okay, I mean, it, it would work if you didn't have anything underneath, but this old stuff just grows the grass. So I've got some really thick stuff that's, I bet it's an eighth inch thick. It's got like a 10 or 15 year warranty. And it's a solid sheet that will cover all the way from that edge to that edge. And right here will be the overlap point. And I'll have to put another piece over there, but I'll have enough room to overlap it much further and it'd be darn solid. So I'm gonna get it, get it set up for next year and it's gonna rest this season. But in the meantime, I do have a few tomatoes. Look here, here's what else I keep fighting here. I don't know if you guys can see him in there. He's just starving to death, look at him, poor little thing. There's one. Let's see how many more I can find here, just cruising around looking. Oh, there's another one. Y'all see him? Dad gum things, and you see the little horn on the end. Let's see if I can get back enough to get a good shot of him. These dad gum things have been eating me up here and at the house in the last month. It's cooled off, and all the the dad gum plants are are blooming out and looking great. But you know what? I cannot win because while all the other bugs are pretty much dying off, those guys are making a run for it right here at the end. So. I'm gonna kill those two guys and uh, get out of here and I will take you over there to the secret garden you're really waiting to see. Okay. In 
here I have like broccoli and cauliflower, I think. It's just not big enough to go on into the ground yet. And you will see all these little red cups. They're the same thing in red cabbage. There's a few of them getting close, but nothing's quite big enough. And I'm just waiting, letting them get a little size to them and I will plant about a third of them will go here in this area. And the rest of them will probably go to my house and, and I will put them in the garden over there where I've got holes for them. You can see my onions. Got some here. Let me see, I can't remember what color this is. These are white onions. And they're coming on along, getting a little thickness to them. These will stay in this container. And these are my Y for yellow. Here's my yellow onions. Look like they're doing okay too. They're gonna stay in the container. And here are some red onions in the container. Now, the onions are also, if you look, there's one on each side of the tape, all the way down in between each cup. They're still pretty young and small, but they're coming along just fine. You'll notice over there, I even got some basil that was left from the house. It's not gonna make, it's not enough time, but I thought, what the heck, something for, to liven up the garden a little. And I got a tomato down there that's making. Do I have time? I doubt it. That one, anyway, will come off when the time comes. Okay, let me get back down, sorry about that. You can see I've got a couple on here as well. They'll get pulled off probably. I don't think anything will make it. I've got a few okra left. About time to cut those guys down. I'll cut off what's left on them today. Let's see here. You can see them there. I'll cut off the goodies off of those guys today before I go home. But this is about all that's left out here right at this moment. I've got these peppers. Now, as you can see, these are the ones from my house. They were all doing so good. I just hated to dig them up, but Dad, burn it. I know what's gonna happen if I don't. Even though it says the week or two is gonna be nice, I'll get some crazy weather and it'll kill these guys off. But I have one of each kind that I want. I have a, let me see here. I've got a jalapeno. I've got a serrano, I've got a sweet heat. I've got the, what are those dudes called? Lunchbox orange. Those are my favorite now, I think. And they're not even hot, they're sweet. I've got a bell pepper. And there was another one that was just flushing out. I'm not sure what the heck it was. It didn't have time to make, but it was really healthy and pretty and it looked different than all the others, so I saved it. Now. That guy over there, I'm thinking maybe it's Hungarian wax, but it was different too. And I'm gonna try to pickle some of those guys. They kind of re remind me of those peppers from Papa John's, except for with a little bite to them. So I'm gonna try to uh, cut, this guy will come out too. And I will put him in his own little container and he'll be overwintered too. Now, I was gonna show y'all. Let me get back out of this a little bit. Okay. You can look by my stalks and see this one's a first year. I don't even know what, what they all are anymore because I just cut everything off. I'll know pretty quick because I have a grow light inside and I'm going to put them under the grow light. And uh, it won't be long and they'll kick out through all the way through the winter through the freezing temperatures because I've got climate control inside. But this one I know is that, that new one I was talking about the... Uh, that burn it lunchbox orange and they were so good look how big and healthy that stem got in the first year wait till next year to look like old wood you can tell this one's a newbie it's fresh this year and this one i believe is an old one here it's either jalapeno i think it's jalapeno and a couple of these and serrano and this is a bell pepper from this year but a couple of them have, I've already had them since last year. They made it all the way through last year and made me peppers all through the winter, but they're doing okay. 
Let's see over here. This guy look kind of like a bell pepper bush. And I'm just going to let it go till it dies. I've got an, a couple of bell peppers left at home that are that are still making really good right now. And I don't want to just take away all my production. At the same time, I wanted to make sure I could save. Yeah, it's bell peppers. I wanted to make sure I could save some for next year. But hey, that's all right. I'll take all of them I can get right now. And if it dies, it's okay. I had a few leftover heads of cabbage and I just threw the whole bunches of them in here in these little holes, right straight in the ground, these. They're just kind of my little, who cares? And let's see what happens, you know. This guy, my uh, sugar cane, he's probably gonna go out in the ground as well as this sugar cane. I'm probably gonna put them out there. Let me see if I can zoom in for you. There is the other sugar cane that I have. So I'm gonna put it all out there and uh, that's gonna be its place just a little bit away from over here. And I'm gonna make the most of it. Hopefully next year that stuff will come on out and if I need to get water over there to it, I'll make it happen. But that's kind of my plans at this point. Now I do have some frost cloth for when I get this stuff in the ground and uh, I will make the most of it. So that's pretty much where I'm at and what I'm thinking here right now anyway. So there's your secret garden update. Not much happening except for a bunch of stuff in the making. We'll see what happens in the future. Y'all come back and see me.